Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Y'all know who I am. And this is my beautiful mom. Hi, and guys. we're celebrating her birthday weekend. And we're about to have some seafood that I made. And salad. And we're gonna just talk. What are we gonna talk about, mom? Oh, life. Life. Look how cute she is so hot. Y'all ain't ready. My shirt. Y'all is not ready. They get they about to get ready. <laughs> um, I'm about to pour me some pink Moscato. You I'm want something like, yes, please. Drink? Thank you. Let me pour this out. Oh, you It's my <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> you want what you want? I want what you're drinking. This, okay. Yes. So introduce yourself. Hi. Take off the glasses because I, I can't see. <laughs> but uh, I'm Rashana's mom, and uh, I am so happy. Like, this is like the best birthday that I can possibly ask for. God is so good. My birthday is not until Tuesday, but my children surprised me and came here with balloons and wine <laughs> and mugs. That's what I like. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here in my home chilling and thanking God for just all the blessings and everything that he has given to me, especially my children. So, I guess... <laughs> do we look alike? Um, Sorry, I interrupted you. Let me see. Do we? <coughs> oh, my God. I don't have the corona. Don't worry. It's just a little... Chocolate. It's just... <laughs> That's what Chocolate. Oh, my God. Cheers to life, prosperity, um, more life love and all that good stuff all that good stuff like i said i'm grateful and i thank god for just allowing me to be here you know to talk about some things so my daughter asked me she was like mom what do you want to talk about i said you know i would like to talk about being your mom <laughs> and when i was your well, you know like the very beginning of knowing that you were growing in my belly i was very very young very very young but god is good because uh young is good to have your children at a young age because you get to grow up with them and you see them grown and you see them doing things and you know you say to yourself well shit i did a good goddamn job period poo period poo <laughs> look oh my mom god. stop <laughs> they hate when I do that. Like I'm so young and so Cardi B. Hey, Cardi. He's not young. Don't listen. Jimmy, <laughs> don't do that. Well, I'm gonna start eating. She's over there uh, making some garlic butter. Making some garlic butter. I don't need all that. I'm good. These are so good. Oh, the water, right? She made mussels. She made shrimp. Jimmy, don't this is my other kid. Come you introduce yourself. So Come on. Because he's so freaked out. <laughs> that's the baby. Yeah, that's the baby. The last baby, one. Baby, baby, bro, bro. I'm the first one. Give mommy some ice. The first one. So somebody right now. Thank you. this little one to go upstairs because he wants to be such a part. Thank you, baby. Aw, we love you too, little Brody. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. How do we start this way? I feel like I'm a celebrity. <laughs> you are a celebrity. Mom. Come on, close celebrity. So pretty much, she had me when she was a teenager. Mm, mm. I had her when I was a preteen. I wasn't even a full teenager. A preteen. Yeah, I was a preteen, and I'm I'm not ashamed of it. Like, you know, I was blessed with something beautiful. And uh, mm, that's, good. that's really good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on TV, but I'm. I was blessed with this beautiful young lady. Didn't know what to do with her, but I figured it out as time went on. Like, you know, when you're a young mom, you really don't know shit. <laughs> so my grandma, Gertie Johnson, which is no longer here Aww, with us, but I'm she's here with us. She helped me. And my grandma Helen. Yes, my grandma Helen. Mom. Yes, they were great. 
they were great grandparents. Like, it allowed me to live and still do some of the things that I needed to do as well. She used to be out at the club. What was the club called? The Ark? What was I was called? at the Ark. <laughs> I was at the wrong day. We were like, big up, big up. Then, don't, 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 big up, big up. Then, don't. Yeah, I used to party a lot. I remember because I used to be crying like, yeah. and I used to be like, girl, go to bed. <laughs> See you in the morning. I used to be waiting up. Out the window. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Janine. Out the window, I come home, it's three o'clock in the morning. She's her little head <laughs> with her little pom pom sticking out, looking out the window. Talk about mommy, <laughs> go to sleep. Y'all follow me on PlayStation at Mary, oh Mary Jackson with a capital M, <laughs> and then one station and put Jackson. <laughs> uh, I play PlayStation, I play, <laughs> I play so 2K, I play Madden. Yeah, he just course. refused to let us have a moment. He just can't. He can't. Mm. It's hard for him. It's okay, though. Yeah, I guess he don't want to feel left out. I'm going to do a video of him after this. But anywho, so I think that was something that I wanted to talk about. And I wanted my daughter to ask me some questions that she always wanted to know. I'm a little older now. You know, I'm Being doing... about to name drop. I mean, age drop. I'm a little older now. But look how young, though. Older but young still. Let me tell y'all no. I don't care about getting old. Cause there's a lot of people out here that's not even making it to oh, 30. That's true. That's 35. True. 20. Like I can go on with that. Oh, rest in peace to pop smoke. Yeah, she pop, loves smoke. pop smoke. Let me I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Let me, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying. The words. Oh my right. god. But I just really love that young guy and he died so, so young. Like I feel sad okay. for his mom. Yeah, that's what she was saying. She was like, imagine how his mother feels. But it just makes you, like you said, appreciate life more and be appreciative of the birthdays that you have. Because yes. some people don't not make even it. here. Like, they don't make it, yeah. you know? And they leave people behind and they leave us too soon. It's but really I always cool. wanted to know, when you first found out you was pregnant, who did you tell? Ooh. Who was the first person wow. that I told? Who was the first person that I told when I was pregnant? Shanika. Your first cousin? My first cousin, Shanika. Because I stayed with her. I was up under her like crazy when I was pregnant with my daughter. Like, that's that's my favorite cousin. She's always been my favorite cousin. <laughs> Even though we don't see each other right now, but that's my Nika Ma. Uh, ma, ma, ma. Uh -huh. That's our little saying, you know, uh -huh. when we see each other. We go, uh, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> I love her so much, and I miss her. I think I'm going to call her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I found out that I was pregnant, she was like, you could come stay with me. Aww. And that I did. I stayed right there with her for a really long time. Yeah, I know. I'm Brenda always. I'm Brenda to her mother. Shout mm -hmm. out to Aunt Brenda. Ow, we love we you. We love. That's my auntie mommy. <laughs> always been. Um, I love my auntie mommy. Yeah. Aunt Brenda always said that. My mom ran away to her house. <laughs> Had to. Because they did not want to accept the fact that I was carrying this beautiful young creature right here. I was too young. Yeah. I believe I was, what, um, I think I was 14 years old. Crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, but it's life. So, you know? when was your, your hardest point? Like, when did you feel like, I can't do this? Like, did you ever have any of those moments when I was little? Never. Never? I never had any of those moments because I always had somebody else on hand. Let me get something for you. It was always somebody else on deck. Her grandmother. So you just was so blessed to have like a bunch of help that it was never got too too much for you. It was never overwhelming. It was never overwhelming. So would you say that um, it stopped you from living your life having a child so young? Oh hell no. Me having a child young, it never stopped my life because, you know. Oh, the type of life that I lived and came from, like, I've seen so many things and experienced so many things at a young age that I said that I would never let those things hinder me. And I will always give my children something that I've never had. And I've always strived for that. But growing up for me was kind of tough because I had to grow up myself in order to be a better mom, a better friend, a better person. So, you know, um, how did you grow up yourself? Like, what was that journey like? It was hard. What made it hard? When you just don't know certain shit. 
I think you should know. So how did you learn? Life experiences. You know, I had my grandma though. And my mom was around too, you know, just watching people go through shit and, and live their lives. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I just said, you know, I just want to do things different for myself, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's what I just aim to do. You know, I've been to college. I've, I, you know, I've worked all my life. I've been working since her, her dad, which is so crazy, got me my first working papers <laughs> when he worked on Governor's Island. I was like. 13 years old wow. and yeah and he made me some fake um he made me a fake working paper <laughs> and i worked and i worked right where we live because we live in Tompkins projects and i worked in church's fried chicken wow so that was your first job was church's fried that chicken? was my first job church's fried chicken like i need some fucking chicken what was your what was your second job do you remember Ooh, that? my second job i started working for the temp agency Oh, I feel like I remember you working. Yeah, I started place. working at 109 East 16th Street for the temp agency for Human Resources Administration. Mm. And it was a really cool guy, a really cool job, but I was dating this guy who called me too damn much and got fired. What? He was calling you while you was on the job? <laughs> calling me every five minutes. That I hated that I gave that nigga my job number. That nigga made me lose my little job. Oh but you know God. what, God That's is good. Funny. It just landed me to get a better job, so, yeah. Yeah. So, um, out of all of the jobs that led you to what you have now, what was your favorite? Mm. So, excluding the one that you have now. I don't think I had a favorite job. Mm. Uh -uh. Not excluding the one that I have now. But, um, I don't think I had a favorite job. Oh, I'm lying. I did have a favorite job. What was it? My favorite job was Little Sun People. Oh, Little yeah. Sun People Daycare Center. So what did you do there? I worked with children. So you enjoyed working with children? I enjoyed working with children. They have so many different personalities. <laughs> they don't even know who the hell they are. And they help you to, oh, excuse me, my little strain is sticking out of my shirt. It's not oh, good. Oh, 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 my God. I'm a bit like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sticking out with crazy and shit. But anyway, to make a long story short, Little Sun People was really like a really good job for me because it, it, you know, it gave me the opportunity to explore children. You know, know what they like. They little minds. They have minds of their own. You know, my children even went there when I worked, mm -hmm. so it, I had contact. You know, hands-on contact with them. I still had to pay, even though. I <laughs> You know, it just it just kind of helped me a little more to be a little more attentive to my own children. Mm. You know, even though, you know, I still was in the growing process of learning how to be a mom, I always loved my kids. Like, they didn't want for nothing because mm. I always made sure they had certain things. Yeah, that's true. But certain things that I didn't have, I didn't know how to give. So that's what I had to learn how to do. But God is good because I'm, I'm here now. I mean, yeah. So, what would you say uh, was the hardest for you to accomplish while being a parent, a young parent? Mm. The hardest thing for me to accomplish? Mm -hmm. Like, what was the obstacle of being a young parent? Oh, uh, because you said that it wasn't too yeah. hard because you had a lot of help. I had a lot of help, but the obstacle of being a young parent was having to make sure. I was able to do and provide when the help was no longer there. Okay. So, I had to be a big girl at a very young age. So, would you say having to grow up too fast was what, the, like the uh, obstacle, or do you do you think that it kind of like prepared you for everything that you experience now? Oh, definitely, it prepared me for everything that I'm experiencing now. Like you know, it really did prepare me because I learned how to be responsible at a very young age, you know? My grandmother, she made me work for every day. Nothing wasn't given to me. Like she used to give me $300 a month, right? And she was like, oh, out of that $300 a month, you gotta buy Rachana clothes. <laughs> you gotta make sure she have her snacks. And guess what I did? I had $300 a month. I did what I had to do. But you also made sure that 
you you had other a job. You know what I mean? So it's not yeah. like you just was relying on that three hundred dollars. No, I wasn't. wasn't but it was a time when I was because I didn't have a job. Oh, I was in the process of so finding me a job. And like setting your life up. Basically. Yeah, and that three hundred dollars was not right, but I made it work. I made it work. God is good. And you said I, that three hundred dollars is not right. <laughs> it wasn't right at all. How could you live? But see, if you ain't got no bills, and, and then you know, plus that was a different time, like years right. ago in the early two thousands. You know, you can make three hundred dollars go further than what you could today, right? Yeah, but it's funny please. I still make three hundred dollars work. Mm, I just ate a piece of ginger that tastes so good. Ask me, ask me how to make three hundred dollars work, and I'll show you. Oh, okay. Listen, honey. <laughs> I came from trying times, and trying times will always be setting me. But I had better times, and I'm grateful for those better times, you know. Mm -hmm. So God is good. So you know, you asking me all the questions. Let me ask you a damn question. <laughs> okay. How was growing up for you? Um, honestly, I feel like I had a good childhood, like fairly good. Everybody has their like tribulations you know and she i what now that i'm an adult i understand that she was like growing up with me you know like more like a sister to little sister as opposed to like a mother yeah. so a lot of things that i would give her flat for i had to realize that she's a person too and i feel like once you grow up you get to meet your parents again like for the second time you know you, you meet your parents at different stages of your life you see them differently mm. so as an adult i'm like she was i couldn't imagine being my age with a teenager you know what i'm saying or a kid that was as tall as me walking around like that's crazy like that's you know, crazy i don't have jimmy you have to save some for everybody else yeah you do put, put that, that back. back put that back you're not gonna eat put that it back baby boy look how much is this i was gonna eat it just you gotta save some boo Sorry for my little brother. He, can't <gasps> he just himself. needs attention. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I, you know, and I and I had my grandmother. My grandmother, she was actually my great grandmother, but she raised me as like she was my grandmother. That was her grandmother. Yeah, girl. And she took me away every summer. I went down south, you know. So I always had other experiences. And my father's mother, she took me to church and stuff like that. And my dad was instrumental in my life, so. I, I kind of had a well-rounded childhood, but there were times where I just felt like she didn't understand me or, you know, she didn't care. But in hindsight, I just know that she was still learning and growing herself. So mm. sometimes I feel kind of bad that I gave her such a hard time. It's fine. But when you're younger, you don't understand or just period. You, you don't know how to process, you know, how to be empathetic when you're a kid and exactly. a teenager. And I also try to forgive myself for expecting too much, but because what, I was a child, you right. know, I, didn't, I didn't know, so right. I don't fault myself, and I just I'm really proud of her because she's accomplished so much. Her home is beautiful. I'll give you guys a tour in another video, and she has a business and she's successful, and she just was able to accomplish so much when all of the odds seem, were seemingly stacked against her. Oh. And you know, it's so crazy because I can relate to what she's saying about certain things that she just didn't get and she didn't understand. And I was still growing in the process of just trying to figure out life out. And my mom wasn't, my mom was there, but she wasn't active. You know, like, oh, I don't know. That's, a, that's another story within itself. And I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't know how to not say be a mom, but just have a little more structure, you know? Because when you once you push out a baby, you become naturally a mom, like. The instincts kick in? Yeah, the instincts kick in. You just, you know, that's my baby. I got to take care of this. And, excuse me, I'm eating. And this it's is what okay, you have to do. Whatever you're eating and chewing. You know, so growing up for me was not easy. I had to figure out a lot of shit that I didn't even understand. I didn't even know what I was going through sometimes in my life. And then when you get out there in them streets, it's funny, child. Don't get somebody sucking your titties. That's another oh. story within itself. <laughs> we keeping it real, white. <laughs> That's some real shit. When you meet somebody and then you, you just, you know, it takes you on another level in life to whereas 
sometimes you just get so overwhelmed with other things that you don't even realize what you like, what you want, what you're dealing with, and it consumes a lot of other things. Mm. You know, but that's just all a part of life. That's a growing process. And as you get older, you start to figure a lot of that shit out. You be like, wait a minute, hold up. What, what just happened? <laughs> Did that just happen? <sighs> oh, hell to the no. Hell but you know, hell to the to no. 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 That's my favorite shit. They hate it, but I don't care. I can't take it. But anywho, you know, I'm just grateful that I can have this now. You know, and I try, I try extremely hard. Like, I'm gonna take trying out of the equation because trying is just failing with honor. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just be, and you do better. Who I want to be to my daughter. You know, I just, you know, every day that I can, I just want to be a better mom. You know, I like to share things with her. I like to give her things because I have two sons. This is my only daughter. So, yes, when she come over here, I'm giving her pocketbooks. <laughs> I'm giving her panties. I'm giving her this for a house. I'm giving her that. I'm, I'm just, you know, and those are the things that I always wish that I could have had with my mom. So, guess what I do? I give what I want, and I just try to just love my baby more. Mm. Life is so short. You just never know when you're going to be limited, and it's certain things that you can't do no more. So while you can, you do what you can. You do what makes you happy. You know, I don't give her just because it's for her. I give her <laughs> things because it makes me happy to give mm. my baby things. And I be seeing her on the ground with my kid. I be like, I want those shoes. She I got good taste. Head. I can't even lie. She got good taste. I be dressing my baby. I do. She be looking cute. Real cute. She got good taste. Thank you. So let me ask you this last question and then we gonna get out of here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're gonna be a better grandmother than you were a mother? <gasps> See why she had to go there, man. Because <laughs> I already told her. <laughs> When you bring me my mother, I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, I'm keeping it 100 right now and I'm not sugarcoating shit. <laughs> When I get my grandchild, and I hope it's a girl and she bullheaded, because I'm rubbing no, casserole, so I'm rubbing casserole all over her head, and she's gonna be sitting on her grandma rug in the middle of the floor with a bowl of chips and oh. some chicken wings. No, I keep telling her. Watch what I, I said. Like she might even have a little oh, taste or something. If she cried too goddamn much, this oh. how she going to sleep. Oh my god, she's some mascara. <laughs> I'm just so excited for grandchildren. Like, I just feel like with my grandchildren, they can have so much more of a better me. Like, you feel like you're more prepared for you the know, babies oh, now? Oh, man. I just, I'm getting emotional. Oh. Because I just feel like they can just have so much more of a better me and all of the things that I have accomplished. And that I have, you know, I just, I've, I, I, my kids, they see these things. But they're grown. They're doing their own thing. They're not here with me in the flesh every single day. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all heard so, it first. When I have kids, I'm bringing them over here. When and I, I want them. And, something. and watch. My name is going to be, uh, let me see. I think Noom Noom. Noom Noom? I like Noom. Oh, my God. No. I want your grandkids to call you Noom Noom. Noom Noom. Yeah, I think I like Noom Noom. I don't want no nanny and all that grandma shit. No. No, no. No, no. That's what I think. No, my, no. I want my, oh grand, my grandchildren to call me. I just want to have the opportunity to experience that. Because my grandmother was a great grandmother. And I want to be better than that. Aww. I don't think it could get no better than that. Excuse me. I'm all belching and shit. That <laughs> it's so stuck right up there. But I just want to be a better grandmother. I want to take my grandchildren on trips, which my grandmother did, but it was always down south. It was never Disney. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to take my grandchildren to Disney. I want <laughs> us to go to, uh, I don't know, Cancun, Bahamas. I don't know, Puerto Rico. Like, I want to do shit like that with my grandkids. I have a pool across from my house. Like, I want to go out there with my little jukebox and my baby and her little pool, little ring with her bull head. Sitting in there talking about no, no, I want chips. No, no, coming. No, yes. strawberries and grapes and watermelons. We're going to do all that shit, too. We're going to do all that. I'm not disputing healthiness. Boy, she's going to love him just the same. Mm -mm. 
I'm not never disputing a boy. <laughs> you just want a girl. I want a girl. <laughs> Don't want no boys. There's so many goddamn boys in this damn family. Yeah, I can't right. buy no cheap dresses because Old <laughs> Navy got some cute stuff. <laughs> and I could go on Old Navy with about $300 and she'd be set for the summer. Her little sandals, her little tutus under her oh dress. God. You know, her little one barrette right here. She keep, you know, her why mother. Why you keep perpetuating uh, uh, this bullhead little Because thing. you was bullhead. No, I was not. You was bullhead. No, I, I got a picture. Bunch of when I you first came out, I had a head full of hair. That was about four or five months. I was down the line. <sighs> Listen, how she gonna tell me what came out? My coochie. Oh my god. It ain't had too much of hair on it when <laughs> it came out. Trust and believe me. That was further down the line. I say about three months her hair started coming in. And she mm -hmm. had a lot oh, of that. A lot, lot, a lot of curly pretty hair. But um we God is good. Go. And I am so God. grateful for this She'll opportunity to touch. Slow down. I love you. I love you too. Beautiful. Right, leave a comment and say happy birthday to my mother. Happy birthday to me. Bye, guys. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun.